Hey everyone, Kevin here. What I've got in my hand is the popular microphone, the Blue Yeti, Black Edition. It's very popular with, with uh, YouTubers and podcasters. I paid £100 for it, but if you try and get it in sale, you can pick it up for around £80. What I've got here, in this very unattractive brown box, is a similar microphone from a company called First Tech. It's a USB microphone, it's a condenser microphone, but it only retails for £30. So if you're on a budget and your budget can't stretch to £100, you might be looking at microphones such as this. So how does it perform? Well, we'll see in this video, but what I'd like to do first is just do a quick unboxing. So as you can see, the company hasn't spent any money on branding. They've just got a little note at the side saying it's First Tech. But they throw boxes away anyway, don't we? So we've got a little small USB microphone manual. We've got it looks to be quite a long, very, very long USB cable. Type A to type B. What else we got here? We've got the microphone itself. And I'll be honest, first impressions are that that looks a lot nicer than I thought it would be. So there it's here, it's marked the U-188 and it's got play and fast forward buttons and things like this. It's got, you can see the buttons, there's like a yellow, green and red light. You've got the rewind which is looks like it's volume up as well, fast forward which is volume down. Um, you've got stop, and mute button and what's that? Oh I stopped the mic and that's stopped the volume. But it looks like that's what it is. And at the back you have headphone jack. That's quite good. I wasn't expecting that. And finally we have a little mic stand. So it should just go in like this. Like so. And if I can Get the mic up, that's what it will look like. Now, it's obviously quite a small mic actually, well compared to the Blue Yeti, but the Blue Yeti is an absolute beast of a microphone, so it's perhaps not a fair comparison. But, it actually looks quite nice, I like that. The stand is pretty terrible, look at that. It stands okay there, but look at that, that's... That's really poor, so it's, it looks like it would be better standing like that, not like that. But there is a screw there, so disregard what I said there because you can tighten that off. So that wouldn't be an issue. So let's try this out and we'll see how it performs. So I've been playing around with the U-188 from First Tech for around an hour and I've got an idea of what works and what doesn't and things like that. Now, you can see I've got my headphones attached here. But over the course of the last hour, for whatever reason, Adobe Audition, which is what I'm recording through right now, um, it stopped monitoring and for what, I can't get the setting to work, so I thought I'll take them out. Now, a few things that I've figured out in the last hour. Firstly was that, yes, I was an idiot when I was doing the unboxing. This does uh, adjust the tripod stand. All you have to do is use a Phillips screwdriver and you can bend it round. Now, I'll quickly do that for you. I uh, apologise for the noise. So this is how it would look and sound when it's pointed towards you. But I think this is, by design, it really should kind of stand up the way because this is where all the controls are. Now, on the subject of controls, the buttons, um, they appear to work okay. Um, what I'm going to do just now is push the mute button for the mic. So you shouldn't be able to hear me talk there when, it, when that was switched on. There's also a mute button for your headphones. Um, the skip track buttons and the pause button and the stop button, uh, because all those buttons are, you know, multi-function. They don't work with your browser or anything like that, but I opened a couple of video files in Windows Media Player and they all worked fine. It's not something I would, I would use. I would rather just use the, um, you know, use your laptop, use your computer, 
but it's there anyway. I've not been able to get the volume buttons working yet. Uh, the two buttons on the left, if you hold the volume, the, the button in for a little while, instead of being skip back or skip forward, it changes to volume up and down. But for whatever reason, I can't get that. I can't get it to work. So I'm not sure if it's me or if it just doesn't work. But it seems to work okay as far as the lights and that. Um, it's an orange light when the mic is muted and it's a red light when the headphones are muted. So that works quite well. Now, as I say, I can't monitor just now, which is why I've not got these on. But um, I did notice that it didn't sound too good with headphones. I just want to just quickly jump to the manual for, for a second. I'll just speed through some of the specs. Um, it's USB to full speed operation, built in noise cancellation. 48k, 44.1 kilohertz sampling rate, 16 bit audio DAC with earphone buffer, I'll get to that. And it works with all Windows and Mac operating systems with additional driver plug and play. Can be used for net host, live show, chat, online games. On the back it says that the frequency response is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and sensitivity is minus 35 decibels to plus or minus 2 decibels. Um, and it's got some instructions for setting the gain level in Windows. Now, okay, just to, I, I went through that quite quickly, but the first thing we notice, it, it talks about having a 16-bit audio DAC. Now, not to delve too much into that uh, subject, but DAC, DAC, if I can talk. I've got the fluid just now, by the way, so I'm really dehydrated. That's why I'm talking funny. DAC stands for Digital Audio Conversion, uh, or digital, digital Audio Converter. And... It's popular with gamers, you know, there's a lot of gamers and when you've got a good headset, you need a good uh, sound card to power it, um, you know, to, to get the most from the headphones. What I would say though is, when I've got these plugged into my laptop, this one here, sounds everything sounds fine. When I plug it into, through the microphone, the U-188 here, it is not very good. well the sound is still okay the main problem is that there's a lot of kind of background static noise and i thought it was something to do with the gain level or something to do with the volume level but i tried everything and it's not working and as soon as i put these headphones back into my laptop they all work perfectly again everything works okay so it's saying there's a 16-bit audio dec maybe there is maybe it's a poor one or maybe it's just not as good as the one that's in my laptop but i, I wasn't impressed with that aspect of it as far as the build quality and that goes, I mean, it's a cheap little mic stand, but, you know, the fact they even give you it is, is pretty good, I suppose. Um, you can pick up mic stands pretty cheap anyway, but this this does actually do the job, this little thing. As far as the microphone itself, looks-wise, I think this looks really good. It looks very, very professional. Weight-wise, it's very, very light. I weighed it in at only 81 grams, um, 2.9 ounces, I believe. And it's very, very light. It doesn't feel quality, you know, compared to the other microphones I've got around the, the office. I've got the Blue Yeti, I've got the Samsung q I've got the Shure SM58, and all of those microphones have got a good bit of weight in it. And this thing is as light as a feather, really. Um, I'm not saying that's telling, that it means that there's cheap parts being used, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> um, okay, what else have I to cover? Well, what you've been listening to right now, like up until this point, has been the raw audio. And when I was listening to it, I did hear a little bit of background noise. Um, it was picking up a little bit of static in that. What I like to do just now, if I like, now, so from this point on to the end of the video, you're still going to hear this microphone, but what I'm going to do is try and change the audio a little bit, perhaps try and re reduce the buzzing. Um, I'm not sure how much, uh, you know, how much um, editing I'll actually need to do that, how much I will need to do, but I'll just do a few things, I'll try and normalise audio, try and reduce the echo and things like that, see if it sounds any better, it might not actually sound any better, maybe the raw file is, um, works okay. Um, now, but in that regard, you know, I'm saying that it picks up a little bit of background noise, but so does the Blue Yeti, you know, it's just, it's just the nature of a condenser microphone. A dynamic microphone, you have to speak up close to it like that. Um, I think I was clipping you. But with a condenser microphone, I mean, I can sit back here. I can sit back all the way out the shot. And, you know, I'm not going to sound 
very, very different. You know, it's going to sound r- roughly about the same sound level. And that's in contrast to a dynamic microphone where you need to speak up close and then when you move away, you can't hear yourself. Um, now, this problem of hearing a little bit of static noise, this is the same problem that I've had with my Blue Yeti. I actually tried recording a few days ago with my Blue Yeti and I was trying to record a game. I was going to stream a game and I couldn't do it because the Blue Yeti was just picking up all... Um, you know, all my typing, all the noises. It was picking up the fans from my laptop a lot as well. And in fact, when I think about it, this is actually picking up the fans from my laptop a little bit less. Uh, I'm not trying to, you know, say to you guys this is amazing or it's not amazing. I think with these kind of things, there's obviously encoding and, you know, uh, when you upload a video to YouTube, there's a lot of... Uh, they, they condense the file size and all that kind of thing and you know sometimes the video quality audio quality is lost a little bit but essentially what I want to do in this video is just let you hear the audio you heard it raw before what you listen to it again is you know the the part has been a little bit uh, improved hopefully improved and um, I, you know I'd like to put it over to you guys and, and you can be the judge uh, because I do think audio is something that it, it does seem to be different from person to person uh, person to person, I can't even speak correctly, um, yeah, because I've, I've listened to some audio tests, and you know, when you look at the comments, there's a lot of people saying, that mic sounds amazing, and then other people saying, that sounds terrible, the static is too bad, so I think it really is up to the person to decide what's happening. Okay, so the number of times someone comes to my door when I'm recording is ridiculous, but uh, there we go. Um, yeah, I do think that audio, it does depend on the person. So I'd like you guys to be the judge and leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this microphone. What I would say though, if there's any of you guys out there and you know, in, in the manual, it says that it's going to be used for recording, net host, live show, chat, online games, net karaoke song or net K song. So <laughs> I'm not sure if um, the people buying this microphone will be using it for all those purposes. But I will say I plugged this into my Sony PS4 and it was recognised instantly. So this is an alternative to the PS4, uh, to the Yeti, sorry. So the, the Blue Yeti that I use is very, very popular with gamers on the PS4 and Xbox. Um, and I think, you know, this is, I mean, it's a third of the price. And it's, it doesn't, you know, if in, in, first, in first impressions of it, it doesn't seem like the quality is, you know, a third. But I do think when, you know, I've said this before with technology, it is kind of the law of diminishing returns. You get to a certain level and you need to pay a lot more money for a slight improvement in audio or video or whatever. So, guys, this has been the first tech U-188. I know it sounds like a German submarine, but, you know, for under £30, seems okay. You don't get a lot in the box because you get the USB, you get the microphone stand, you get the cable, the microphone stand, and the, the microphone itself. And as I said, the microphone itself is a little bit um, lightweight, but it does look professional. So if you're thinking about doing a podcast or a YouTube show or anything like this, and you're on a budget, then this could be something that you should maybe look into. B, um, what I'm going to do... I don't know what I was going to say there, B. What I'm going to do in um, one of my next videos is I'll do a comparison between this and the Blue Yeti and, you know, be a little audio test and you guys can, um, you know, tell me which one sounds better. But in the meantime, what I'd like to do uh, just now is put it over to you guys. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about it, whether you think um, it's a good mic or not. And until next time, thanks for watching.